David Feldman Show. Joining us is our resident film critic, Michael Snyder. Cartel Land. Well, it's an in-depth documentary uh, that is kind of a riveting on-the-ground look at the journeys of two modern-day vigilante groups and their shared enemy. Uh, and their enemy is the murderous Mexican drug cartels. Uh, this is in Michoacan, and uh, there is a small-town doctor, and he is leading the Auto Defensas. Uh, which is a uh, kind of a citizens group that's trying to fight the drug cartel that's caused trouble in that area forever and ever. And in Arizona, along the border, a guy by the name of Tim Foley, uh, who is a veteran, has a little paramilitary group who uh, have taken upon themselves to patrol the border and try to stop the Mexican drug wars from from affecting America. And they're armed and people are pulling triggers and uh, there's a lot of you know wildness and hysteria and the filmmaker, his name is Matthew Heineman, and he throws himself into the middle of all this and it, it turns out that it's possible that the auto defenses are uh, kind of on the take as well. Uh, the uh, this guy Naylor is, you know, he's basically a loose cannon, and this is some really up close and personal stuff. I think that that Heinemann risked his life oh, uh, yeah. every day that he was shooting this film, and it, this is a great, brutal, and demoralizing film because when we see um, the circumstances in Mexico proper, we realize that these guys who have uh, armed themselves and are ostensibly fighting the drug cartels are incredibly dangerous as soon as they get up and running. What and, are they dealing? Uh, are, they, are they dealing marijuana? Are they dealing cocaine? What, what, what drugs are they dealing? I think uh, it's uh, a lot of crack, a lot of crack. And, you know, I guess everything else uh, comes along with the package. But uh, this is powerful stuff. And, and again, uh, all kudos to Matthew Heineman for the, the guts to get in the middle of it. I mean, the thing kicks off uh, where we see these guys who have learned from uh, other uh, experts, maybe from Walter White himself from Breaking mm -hmm. Bad or uh, a real-life version of him, to uh, cook up the meth, and we see them doing it and, you know, and kind of joking about it, and then we see that it's eventually going to go out. So uh, one of the things that Heinemann does is he's actually in with the drug dealers themselves, with the people who are actually making the drugs. He's risked uh, life in them to do that, and we see him uh, with the uh, paramilitaries uh, on both sides, the, uh, the so-called citizen uprising uh, and also uh, all of uh, Tim Foley's people. Phenomenal, you know, and right. it's it's you know if you're looking for a hero, the closest you get to it is Foley, but he's you know a vigilante, you know, it's nuts. And again, uh, demoralizing because it seems like there's really no way to stop this from happening. Well, one way is for us to buy domestic meth and domestic. Crack. Yeah, I think I think yeah, that would be a way to approach it. You know, a buy locally, uh, share globally. No. Well, I, t I I I just want to remind my listeners: when you're buying your cocaine, your crack, and your meth, ask the dealer, "Was this made in America?" Because if it's not made in America, you're supporting a drug trade that has killed. Estimates are as high as fifty thousand people to the south of the border. So yeah. Uh, it, it's phenomenal. Uh, at the beginning, of the, we, they're cooking the meth, or, you know, I mean, I'm not an expert on that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, it, that's dangerous and risky and crazy. So from the get-go, this movie is uh, a thrill ride and, you know, definitely worth catching. Yeah, I don't mean to be glib about what's going on in Mexico. The point I'm making is we should legalize drugs here in the United States. But... We have a pretty laissez-faire attitude, a non-judgmental attitude towards people who consume cocaine and meth. And the fact is that one of the reasons to get off that stuff is you're supporting brutal, brutal murderers. You're, you're putting money in the pockets of killers. So it's one reason to stay clean. Tell me about three and a half minutes, 10 bullets. Well, this is a documentary about an incident that occurred in Florida on Black Friday, pardon the expression, 2012, when a white middle-aged man and a black teenager got into an altercation over the volume of music being played in the boy's car. A gun uh, is pulled, and one of these guys is left dead. 
Uh, and uh, wow, um, I remember well, that. I remember that story. I remember that story. And heart, he said he was threatened. Stuff. Right? The, the white guy said he was threatened. By... He did, uh, and the kid was in the car with his friends. The kid was uh, seemingly a good kid, and he was with his friends. And you know, the cultural uh, problems, you know, in clash. I would suggest because you know maybe the music wasn't this guy's cup of tea. It definitely wasn't, and he was with his uh, significant other, who was in the store at the time at this at this parking lot uh, drive-in area. And uh, this, this guy, Michael Dunn, fires 10 bullets at a car full of unarmed kids and then runs. And um, when he's finally uh, caught up, he says that, you know, he was threatened. He saw a gun being drawn himself. He was arrested. He said he was uh, shot in self-defense. And uh, wow, uh, amazing uh, and, and disturbing story. So uh, what we have here is a uh, documentarian named Mark Silver, who has got interview footage and uh, compiled uh, all kinds of detailed uh, maps and such and reports. We basically see this slice of modern America where for all of our advances, we're still wrestling with racism and culture clash. This is post-Obama America, and this craziness still happened. The kid, 17-year-old Jordan Davis, dies at the scene, and it's... It's not a spoiler to tell you this. It's the process of watching all this unfold and see the story happen that actually gives uh, three and a half minutes, ten bullets its power. Great. Michael Snyder is our resident film critic. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you, sir. You bet, buddy.